2016 Volkswagen Passat GT review The Volkswagen Passat was one of our surprises of last year. During our drive we could make very few remarks about the mid-size sedan from Volkswagen. Now Volkswagen is about to launch a plug-in hybrid variant of the Passat. Ahead of the market introduction we went to Amsterdam to review the 2016 Volkswagen Passat GTE. The Volkswagen Passat is not the fastest sedan we have ever driven, nor is it the most luxurious but in its segment it is making certainly making some waves. Last year we already found the infotainment and assistance systems to be on par with, if not ahead of those in the BMW 3 Series. Audi A4 and Mercedes-Benz C-Class, we are keen to find out how well the plug-in hybrid drivetrain performs. The Passat GTE comes with a 1.4-liter TSI petrol engine and a 85 kW electric motor paired with a well-known VW6 speed dual-clutch DSG gearbox. The combined power output of the Passat GT is 218 horsepower enough to reach a top speed of 225 km per hour in hybrid mode and 130 km per hour in electric mode. Thanks to 330 Nm of torque available instantly in E-mode sprints at the line go very swift and with ease despite the Passat's weight of 1. 722 kg. The Passat GTE can be driven in four different modes, E-mode, Hybrid, Battery Charge and GTE. When you start the car by pressing the Start, Stop button it automatically starts in E-mode. In this mode you can drive up to 50 km electric, if you have a heavy right foot like me 30 km is more realistic. Combine you can drive over 1, 100 km without refueling. In the city we really had a blast driving around in E-mode and it feels smoother and faster than in GTE mode. Out of the city the GTE mode we preferred to switch to GTE mode. A sound generator feeds a sportier sound into the cabin and the TSI and electric engine work together to provide maximum power and torque. In addition to GTE mode. Charge mode allows you to recharge the battery while driving on the highway so you have enough charge when going into the city. In normal hybrid mode you get the best of both worlds, great fuel economy and a long range. Volkswagen indicates the combined net consumption as low as 1.6 liter per 100 km. Fuel efficiency aside the Passat GT also offers a great range of standard equipment including LED headlights the composition media infotainment system, front assist and city emergency braking functions. Inside the cabin is spacious and quite clean. We still don't like the clock in the dashboard and the air vents on the passenger side but in general it is a very pleasant place to be. The infotainment system has so many options that you probably need a few days to study all functionality. Luckily the touchscreen is very intuitive. A must-have is the optional digital display that replaces the old-school speedometer and rev counter. The 2016 Volkswagen Passat GT is available as sedan and touring. It stands out from other Passats with blue accents in the front and a small hatch hiding the e-charger in the grill. The navigation map can show the electric range dynamically so you can quickly see how far you can drive with the remaining charge. I haven't been a big fan of hybrids in the past but with growing range, lower weight and an engaging emo they are growing on me. Driving around Amsterdam with countless charging points it does become apparent that the infrastructure still stands in the way of the real e-mobility revolution. It is not possible to charge your car on these charging points as a foreigner for example. Also Europe uses hundreds of different suppliers and you need to be a member for each to use their charging points. Although this is a major weakness for e-mobility in general, it is showing a strength of the plug-in hybrids. You can always use the pedal engine and the battery will even recharge by driving normally. So how does it compare to the competitors? The Passat GT is a proper alternative for the Tesla Model S. Its range and interior qualities leave the Tesla Model S in the dust. 
At the same time we have to wait for plug-in hybrid versions of the 3 Series, C-Class and A4 to really see where the GTE stands in comparison to its key rivals. The 2016 Volkswagen Passat GT is packs together an interesting drive concept with sleek new looks and a luxurious interior. E-Mode was a lot of fun to drive and like the regular Passat it was hard to find any flaws. I'm not a fan of touchscreen infotainment, but with a digital driver display it is not truly really an issue. The electric range is sufficient if you drive short distances every day. For those with a longer commute using some petrol is inevitable. Overall the Passat GT is a very good car and a typical example of how the Volkswagen brand is moving closer and closer to becoming a luxury brand. Thanks for watching and listening please like subscribe share and comment.